customer is the king isn't that a phrase you're familiar with well i've come across that phrase on several occasions and a lot of times it's a phrase that's put up on the walls of you know different businesses and companies and you know as a society we live through these codes which are carried forward from generation to generation to generation and you know in this episode of the marketing notes podcast i want to tell you exactly why this phrase can potentially kill your business yes you heard that right it can literally kill your business if you're not careful about it and a lot of my listeners a lot of uh, listeners of the podcast are people who are you know who who want to start a business or who just got into a business or who are the owners and founders of a lot of startups and you know when you start treating your customers like king that could literally mean that your business is controlled by them you know let's just uh, roll back and define the word king right a king in a uh, definition sense is somebody that controls the nation or you know the territory that he rules right so it's a dictatorial relationship between the king and the nation that he controls now uh, looping that into the business context if your customers are the king if a customer is a king then he can dictate the terms through which you should be running your business and delivering the services and the products right the whole relationship that you have with your customer is now a dictatorial one where he is the king he is the ruler and he defines the terms and and that could be lethal for your business now i let me give you an example to you know uh, enhance the context so recently uh, we had the book launch i recently wrote a book the one lakh formula and of course if you haven't grabbed the book go grab it right so during the book launch promotion we offered the book for 99 bucks at a discount and we had a lot of orders so there was this one person who now uh, was a customer because he ordered the book and we sent him the book well uh, sadly unfortunately he did not receive the book because you know at he stays in a very remote town in india and the only courier company that delivers the book was the indian post office and we had no way to track the courier and you know what he called us several times and we understood that you know what he really wants to read the book he is excited about the book so let's speak to other courier partners let's see if they could deliver we requested a- another partner and dtdc thankfully said yes we would do it for you we were like great send him another copy and uh, a few days later we see that the book was delivered to him so we are all happy we are hope- we hope that you know he was reading the book and then he frantically starts calling we like hey where's the book where's the book where's the book and then he starts getting a little aggressive with my team and uh, he starts be- uh, being really rude on the phone while he was clearly communicated given the tracking details and you know given the local courier partner details to you know speak to them because they clearly said that the book was delivered and there was nothing else we could do at this place apart from give him the refund which we also agreed to but this guy he didn't want the refund he just wanted the book he uh, he said i didn't receive the book he wasn't willing to speak to the local cour- courier partners so he just wanted to blast out at somebody right i feel that's what he wanted to do and then he just kept calling uh, on our helpline number and he was rude with my team uh, several times and till this was brought to my attention and i have a clear no tolerance policy in my company and it's for the people working in my company it's for me and it's for the customers as well right there's a certain line that nobody including me including my team including the customers shouldn't cross and this person clearly crossed the line and this is why i say customers are not king because if you if i go by that definition i should have just let him you know uh, fuck around with my uh, team members i could have just i should have just let him make my team members feel bad let them be abused all the time take in all the abuse that he was giving them 
I had to pick up the phone and I had to call him and give it back to him and make him realize that hey whatever you're doing is fucking not right right and in you may uh, be working with other companies where you are the fucking king but when it comes to TMN you're fucking not a king at TMN we have a clear policy that clients are not king client is not a king our clients are our collaborative partners now think of think of it that's a better relationship right it's a relationship of equals just like people working at TMN are our team members and we have a partnership of mutual respect which is important similarly with every client that you know, every anybody who becomes a client at the marketing nerds we call them collaborative partners right we give them a lot of respect we want to deliver and over deliver for them but in exchange we expect similar respect from them we expect them to treat us exactly like they want us to treat them right so it's a partnership it's a collaborative partnership we are we are not telling that they are the king or we are not saying that hey customers rule us customers define how we should run the business or customers dictate the terms no they are a part they are the partners of tmn we grow we grow together we work together we help each other because if you think of it at the end of it when the customer pays you he's not paying you to dictate the terms of how you should be running your business right it's an exchange of value the transaction is purely an exchange of value in terms of products or services or consultation or some other form right but he paid you not to abuse you or not to define how you should run your life and business he paid you because he saw the value in what you had to offer it's really important as a startup as a professional as a freelancer when you're starting out in the business you think of your customers as collaborative partners and not as kings because you know a lot of times we look at all these giant corporations like amazon flipkart and all the other bigger companies with you know billions of dollars in investor cash and how they treat their customers right like we may quote jeff bezos also and say that you know we are a customer centric company and will go all out and you know go beyond our limits to make sure a customer is hap- happy or will read the book delivering happiness and will you know quote tony and say that zappos you know goes way beyond uh, in terms of customer service so why can't we do, do that now think of the downside of following the prescription that a big corporation like zappos or amazon follows right they could afford to burn money they could afford to lose money but if you are a small business owner if you are a mid sized business owner if you are a startup if you are a professional if you are a freelancer and if all you do is spend your time dealing with these customers now you probably may not even have somebody in your customer support team so if you spend the next and the entire next week dealing with this guy who is abusing you who is being rude to you and who doesn't even respect the product or service you deliver to him how would you feel what would your mindset be like right would you be in a positive state to go back the next day and uh, take your business to the next level of course not right who stays positive after constantly being abused by somebody but then it's your fault because you thought that hey let me run my business like amazon does when you're small you do not follow the prescription of a large corporation remember they could afford to burn the money they lose thousands of crores of rupees every freaking year you can't afford to do that your time is your money the more time you spend dealing with customers who do not treat you fairly who are rude to you who are abusive the more the less money you make because you are wasting your time after these morons who have clearly no respect for you so when you are a small business when you are a professional when you are starting out unless you have investor cash and you plan to burn millions and billions of rupees and you know keep getting refund and uh, take take and keep taking the products back here is what you should be doing make sure you set clear expectations for your customers 
make sure you clarify your stance in your customer communication that hey hey customer we really love you we are glad that you are a part of our family we are happy that you are here and we look forward to delivering our amazing products and amazing services to you but here is the thing you're not the king and neither are we the servants right we are not a part of your kingdom we collectively are partners we are collaborative partners here to help each other we'll provide the value that you are seeking to help you you know grow your business or lose your lose the weight or you know redefine your relationships or help you find yourself whatever service you deliver whatever products you deliver and in exchange we expect you to do x y or z and specifically treat us fairly right let's build a mutually respectful relationship here i think once you do that you would automatically start attracting ideal clients clients who respect you who do not waste your time who pay you the right fee and hey who you love working with that's really important because as a solo entrepreneur as a uh, as a owner of a startup company as a freelancer as a as a founder of a sme you want to make sure that you are in a great state right you are in a positive state because if your state is negative there's hardly a way that you are going to grow the business you might lose a lot of time sulking and most importantly you might lose a lot of time uh, where you could have made a lot of money instead and work with customers who would respect you and love you so much so always remember question everything that you can and you should right there are certain things and certain quotes and certain sayings that are transferred to us and repeated several times centuries after centuries and people just believe them but there's no reason to believe anything right always question and find the truth and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you and do what's right for you i hope you find value in today's podcast let me know your thoughts and make sure to hit the subscribe button i'll speak to you tomorrow this is karan dharamsi signing off from the marketing notes podcast Talk to you soon.